Duval County slash Deputy Secretary of Health for the Florida Department of Health. We joke around and call her no sleep, Dr. Kelly Wells. All right, so Dr. Wells, you say that a lot of people are wearing blue today. You're wearing blue today. Why is that? Well, June is Men's Health Month, mm -hmm. and on um, the Friday before Father's Day, we really wanted to raise awareness about men's health because it is somewhat neglected. That's, and I mean, men, I mean, in general, or just men neglecting their own health? Well, men neglect their own health, and I think there is a lot of focus on women's health issues. And what I mean by that is we, if you ask a group of men and women, they'll be able to talk to you a little bit about breast cancer and cervical cancer mm -hmm. and the things that impact women, but there's a less information that I think is circulating about the things that impact men. You Why know? do you think that is? You know, I, I'm not certain. I, I, Bravado. I, I can tell you that. I think it, it's uh -huh. part of it, you know, unwillingness to be like vulnerable and talking about mm -hmm. those kind of things because all guys talk about is like, hey, that was a great golf shot. Sports. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They're right. in denial. Well, and I, I think too that the, the attitudes toward health are really laid down very early, right? And so the, what's modeled for men in many cases is not self care, but to care for Tuck others in terms of be at work, be mm -hmm. out, be active. And they take very little time to sort of look inward and, and do those things to assess their own health. I also feel like for men, you know, if they feel well, then they connect that, yeah. they equate that to good health. You mm -hmm. know, it has to be That'd broken, be preventative. bleeding, yeah. or falling off. Mm -hmm. But you say that men live care. sicker and die younger. What do, you, what do you mean by that, especially if men are thinking, I feel okay, I must be okay? Well, there are a lot of chronic diseases, high blood pressure being one, that doesn't have any symptoms until it's significantly advanced or you have some sort of complications, right? Mm -hmm. So it is easy, Hi hypertension is a silent killer. So it is very easy for a man to work, go about his daily life, and all that is abnormal is the reading on the blood pressure cuff, right? But if he's never getting it measured, no one knows that, <laughs> yeah. right? And so he won't feel bad until it is catastrophically high mm -hmm. yeah. and probably has been for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. So what is the, the Department of Health doing for these men to kind of bring this awareness? Well, we d annually, we actually were uh, instrumental in creating a men's health coalition. So that exists and is actually very, very active in our community. And a few weeks ago, we had a, a summit uh, where we focus on men's health issues, mm -hmm. bring men to uh, a number of services, screening information, and that sort of thing being provided to them. And then we we empower the women in their lives mm -hmm. to hold them a little bit more accountable for their own health. And mm -hmm. so we try to actually target the wife, the girlfriend, the mother, the daughter, um, the sister. The scheduler. The scheduler. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, because what can a woman do? I mean, I feel like a lot of us have been in that situation where we told our dad, you know, like, you're obviously sick, you should go get yourself checked out. Right. Or, you know, your boyfriend or husband. What can we do to not nag them, but oh, encourage nag. them to go? Well, you know, I, I think I think that that is such a put off. I think if you nag, then they get tougher. Yeah, get more exactly. You know, their bravado gets stronger, and so they're. Yeah, I, so I, that's a really do? good question. I can tell you what I've done. You know, I, I try to talk to the men in my life about the consequences of not doing this, mm -hmm. right? So no one chooses to be on dialysis three times a week or have a leg True. amputated or um, suffer from erectile dysfunction from poorly controlled diabetes or high blood pressure or, or to have a stroke and not be able to care for themselves. Nobody chooses that. But we do choose that if we do not do, participate in the screening activities, eat healthy, try to maintain a, you know, a healthy weight take our medicines as prescribed, those sorts of things. And so those decisions actually predate the consequences by 10 or 15 years, mm -hmm. right? And so That's as crazy. you're choosing not to sort of follow up with the doctor after that ER visit mm -hmm. or to take your medicine because you don't like the fact that it makes you drowsy or have to go to the restroom, you're choosing some consequences down mm -hmm. the road that no man much yep. less any person would want to have. And mm -hmm. so I usually try to paint that picture. Like, I understand you feel fine now. You scared me, and I'm not a man. Right? <laughs> I scared me so so bad. The thing you talked about is men, but how about boys or young, young men? I mean, how do you start those conversations? What do they have that... I'm so glad you asked that. I, I, again, I talked a little bit about how the habits related to self-care are laid down very, very young. And so I do talk to young parents about modeling great self-care yep. behavior for uh, their children, right? And so your son should see you going, scheduling doctor's appointments, mm -hmm. keeping them, yeah. taking your medication, and doing healthy things, right? Mm -hmm. The other thing that I think is really important is that um, as kids get out of the, the school age, like really about seventh grade where they no longer need any immunizations, parents equate that with no longer needing to go to the physician. Mm -hmm. Now right? you guys have a really interesting fun day coming up to 
kind of help all this. Tell us more about that real quick. So the I Choose Family event, which is going to be at the baseball grounds tomorrow. I'm so excited about this. Our Yay. assistant director for the health department is going to be throwing out the first pitch. Nice. But it's, it's, it's that message that we want to give that family health begins with family activities. Yep. Right, we want to motivate folks to be active and healthy. We're going to have some programs on site to talk about everything from sexual risk avoidance to healthy nutrition. Um, but the whole day, the event actually is just about coming together, That's making fun. healthy choices Super fun. as a family. Yeah, that is Being really very cool. so instead of nagging, just go to this, and then you know, and the department of health will sneak in yeah. all that information. That's right. Right. I like That's it. Messages for you. <laughs> thank you so I, much. Yeah, Dr. thank Wells. you so much. You guys bring the best information. All right, if you'd like to help support the Florida Department of Health. Sexual Risk Avoidance Program. Their I Choose Family Fun Day happens tomorrow at 6.05. 6.05 on the dot at the Jumbo Shrimp Game. For tickets and more information, visit the website jackshrimp.com. And after the break, it's the favorite time of year for so many people. Time to hit the road for summer vacation. Our next guest will give us a few ideas of things we can do. We'll be right back. Out late? At Golden Corral, you can now eat great.